नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल टुमारो इज द डे व्हेन अरविंद केजरीवाल इज कॉल्ड बाय ईडी फॉर इंटरोगेशन और फॉर क्वेश्चनिंग विल बी अरेस्टेड दैट्स द क्वेश्चन एवरीबडी इज आस्किंग लेट्स ट्राई and talk about that let's understand what's the case how it happens and let's look at the political angle let's get right into the show so arvind kejriwal has been summoned by ed tomorrow that is 2nd of november 2023 for questioning a lot of people not only from his party uh, but a lot of people feel that there is a chances that he may be arrested tomorrow why because this is not the first time that arvind kejriwal has been called this is the second time that arvind kejriwal is visiting the ed's office first was on 16th of april 2023 where he was interrogated questioned for 9 hours theek hai na so this is the second time people say is bar they are going to arrest him acha why all this let us first understand that you see delhi had government contractors selling alcohol selling liquor earlier on theka is what it used to be called so theka hota tha government theka and uh, when i formed the government i said nahi yaar i am going to change this and i am going to allow private players to sell liquor in delhi like it is happening in mumbai and and lot of other states private player can now take uh, and sell alcohol now ab tak to theek tha but somewhere down the line after that there was an allegation that people like manish sisodia Arvind Kejriwal and our government has has given waivers waivers up to one hundred and forty four point three six crores. For instance, which is what Manish Sisodia personally gave one hundred and forty four point three six crores to private players to so that they can make more money. So there were illegal waivers given to private players and in lieu of bribe, in lieu of money. ठीक है ना? This is what was generally told. So Manish Sisodia. for therefore picked up and arrested on the 26th of february 2023 manish sisodia went acha before manish sisodia satyendra jain was also arrested but satyendra jain mind you was not arrested for liquor uh, policy alone satyendra jain they also alleged corruption against satyendra jain for an fir that was filed by cbi in 2017 so ed uh, got in and uh, was uh, satyendra jain was arrested for money laundering of course he too was questioned for uh, uh, the liquor license policy and all of that so coming back to our liquor license policy the next person to get arrested for liquor license policy was uh, sanjay singh sanjay singh too they say were, was involved in uh, in all of this and he too was arrested so this is where it stands so arvind kejriwal is going to be called tomorrow manish sisodia in from uh, 26 2023 sanjay singh was arrested 4th october 2023 and like i told you satyendra jain was arrested 3rd may 2022 but now he is out on medical grounds and he is genuinely very unwell okay this is the story broadly broadly and i am sure there are a lot of videos on on the license policy and all that i'm sure you can go through it we have also done a few so that's one so i'm not going to dwell in much into that now let us understand the political angle of this you see aap the aam aadmi party was a party that was very vociferous vociferously against uh, भारतीय जनता पार्टी स्पेसिफिकली अगेंस्ट मिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी एंड अमित शाह दे वर एब्सोल्युटली वॉसिफरस एंड दे वुड गो टू वॉट एवर एक्सटेंड टू एक्सप्रेस देयर 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 रिवोल्ट और देयर देयर डिससेटिस्फैक्शन और देयर एंगर और देयर प्रोटेस्ट और देयर ऑपोजिशन दे वुड गो टू ऑल एक्सटेंड लाइक इफ यू रिमेंबर ड्यूरिंग द कोविड टाइम अरविंद केजरीवाल एड एक्चुअली <laughs> you know without the knowledge of the prime minister put a, a, a video conferencing live so they were they would go to any extent so that was up also up routed bharatiya janata party routed bharatiya janata party from delhi in two assembly elections in 2014 and in 2019 routed that is 2015 and 2020 my apologies routed uh, 
भारतीय जनता पार्टी इन लोक इन देयर असेंबली इलेक्शन नॉट इन द लोकसभा इलेक्शन असेंबली इलेक्शन एंड लाइक आई टोल्ड यू अरविंद केजरीवाल वॉज वेरी वॉस्टिफर एंड समेर ऑन द लाइन अरविंद केजरीवाल वॉज कॉन्स्टेंटली क्रिबिंग अबाउट सेंटर्स इन्वॉल्वमेंट इन डेली इन डेली पॉलिटिक्स इन डेली एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन एंड सेंटर वेंट आउट ऑफ द वे टू गेट इन्वॉल्व इन डेली पॉलिटिक्स एंड डेली एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन सो प्राइमरली आप वॉज वेरी वोकली अगेंस्ट भारतीय जनता पार्टी आप वॉज इरिटेटिंग भारतीय जनता पार्टी एस्पेशली नरेंद्र मोदी एंड अमित शाह दैट वॉज अ फैक्ट ठीक है ना सो दिस इज द बैकग्राउंड एनवायरमेंट बैकग्राउंड अभी बैकग्राउंड को साइड में रखते हैं लेट एस लुक एट आप सी आप इज अ सिंगल मैन रन पार्टी सो एवरीबडी इन आप फॉलोस अरविंद केजरीवाल ही इज लाइक द सुप्रीम लीडर इन आप इट स्टार्टेड ऑफ वेरी डिफरेंटली एंड ऑल दैट बट एंड द डे आप हैज अ सुप्रीम लीडर एंड हिज नेम इज अरविंद केजरीवाल नाउ यू कैन बी लीडर्स एंड यू कैन बी पार्ट ऑफ आप पार्ट ऑफ आप मैंने इफ यू यू आर रेलिवेंट इन आप इफ यू आर close to and you are loyal to arvind kejriwal that is very clear now if you look at the app structure which i will show you on your screen the app structure is arvind kejriwal is the supreme leader and under arvind kejriwal you had manish sisodia who he was closest to so manish sisodia was his deputy he was deputy cm then he you had satyendra jain satyendra jain was also somebody he was very close to and also somebody he was related to is what they say so satyendra jain then you have somebody called as raghav chadda raghav chadda also his claim to fame is very close to arvind kejriwal very close to arvind kejriwal then the the fourth person who was not a who was not a psychopath actually i know sanjay singh as somebody who had his mind of his own but he was not against arvind kejriwal and all that he didn't go against arvind kejriwal he normally didn't question arvind kejriwal but he was not a psychopath so uh, sanjay singh sanjay singh also was a relevant leader of uh, Arvind Kejriwal and finally came Atishi Marlena now Atishi Marlena was one person till recently was absolutely uh, like what aap was formally she was the reminiscences of what aap was when it started off you know as a party that uh, wanted to make a difference a party genuinely from the people party you know who wanted to work for people and uh, Atishi Marlena was known as um, very efficient administrator when it comes to education so this is these are the One, two, three, four, five names, people who mattered to AAP. This entire structure of AAP was run by these five people. Now, Bharatiya Janata Party. If Bharatiya Janata Party, I am not saying Bharatiya Janata Party did this. I am saying if Bharatiya Janata Party has to destroy AAP, then Bharatiya Janata Party would have to fix these people. Because if the leaders are fixed, the party shakes the party weakens so what really happened is now again like i am saying i am not saying it is all linked but i am just telling you the way the chronology of the event went what happened was first satyendra jain who was known to be the closest on a personal level to uh, arvind kejriwal was picked up and he was behind bars for corruption theek okay? hai this happened on like i told you satyendra jain was uh, arrested on 3rd may 2022 first person of aap to go behind bars then came sisodia sisodia like i said 26 february then came sanjay singh sanjay singh as recent as 4th october 2023 now raghav chadda was left raghav chadda got suspended from rajya sabha so he couldn't attend rajya sabha why was he suspended he was suspended from rajya sabha because raghav chadda who was uh, accused of not taking the consent of five rajya sabha mps before including their names to a select committee was suspended from the upper house that is rajya sabha theek okay? hai so he was suspended on 11th of august so now look back at this this entire uh, group manish sisodia jailed Satyendra Jain was jailed now he is out on medical grounds he is absolutely unwell so he is hardly active Raghav Chadda suspended Sanjay Singh jailed Manish Sisodia jailed by CBI rest the other two jailed by ED 
द ओनली पर्सन लेफ्ट इज आतिशी मार्लिना दिस इज द सिचुएशन ठीक है ना ओके सो वी अंडरस्टूड द पोलिटिकल सिचुएशन लेट्स कीप दैट आउट नाउ लेट एस कम टू द लास्ट पार्ट वॉट विल हैपन टू अरविंद केजरीवाल टूमोरो now arvin kejriwal could be questioned for 9 10 11 hours whatever and sent back home tomorrow or arvin kejriwal could be arrested what if arvin kejriwal is arrested if arvin kejriwal is arrested one thing is for sure aap will be a headless party all leaders will be behind bars most of the leaders the leaders that is relevant will be behind bars except for one Atishi Marlina and another MP that is Raghav Chadha who has been suspended. Okay, so there will be two leaders. Rest everybody is behind bars. So the party will all of a sudden be weak. The government will have to choose a new leader, which is a new chief minister. So unlike what popular belief is that Raghav Chadha may come in as the chief minister, I think. Atishi Marlina would come in as the chief minister because she is already an MLA and she would be taken in as the chief minister other than getting Raghav Chadha who is the sole uh, Rajya Sabha member of AAP to pull him to uh, uh, make him a chief minister and then make him into an MLA and all of that you know it will be easier for Atishi Marlina to come in as a chief minister. Okay, this is what I believe. Now the fact is what happens if Arvind Kejriwal is arrested? Arvind Kejriwal if Arvind Kejriwal is arrested to my understanding Arvind Kejriwal has booked his chief ministerial ship in Delhi for the next 5 years at least 100% because the sympathy wave for him in Delhi will skyrocket will skyrocket and uh, he will be playing the martyr so Arvind Kejriwal will definitely and up will definitely benefit if Arvind Kejriwal is jailed tomorrow ठीक है, so that's number one. Why? Because आप इस one party who can go on ground, unlike BJP or unlike uh, sorry Congress or other parties, आप can go really go on ground and make a lot of noise, and they are going to make a lot of noise. So Arvind Kejriwal arrested, it will help आप in Delhi. But you know who will it harm? Not so much so Bharatiya Janata Party. If Arvind Kejriwal is arrested, it will harm Congress more. You may wonder why, and I'll try and tell you. See, if Arvind Kejriwal is arrested, and if he is out on bail or something by before the Lok Sabha elections, the Arvind Kejriwal wave or Arvind Kejriwal sympathy wave in India would be quite high. With this sympathy wave being high, AAP may want to stand or. put up their candidates in almost every state in this country wherever they can wherever they have some infrastructure they may want to put up their candidates in this country which aap has been anyway putting but they would want to put it because they know that there is a arvind sympathy wave that's already happening theek hai now arvind sympathy wave happens but tell me who do you think will lose here because the bjp supporter and the bjp core hindutva voter will remain with bjp the sympathy wave and the swing will be more from the congress vote bank the secular vote bank that's what aap is going to split so assuming that there is a sympathy wave assuming that uh, uh, arvind kejriwal is put behind bars assuming that there is a sympathy wave chances are that Arvind Kejriwal if he is back before the Lok Sabha election will manage to split Congress votes secular votes much more than he would be able to damage much of Bharatiya Janata Party so the conclusion the conclusion is in Delhi Bharatiya Janata Party should resign literally saying that at least next Five years again, next term also, Delhi Assembly will not not come to Bharatiya Janata Party. But then, I don't even think otherwise. Also, Delhi Assembly will go to Bharatiya Janata Party in the in 2025. I don't think it is going to happen. And I am sure Bharatiya Janata Party is also aware of it. But what will happen is the Arvind Kejriwal wave will cause a lot of damage to the secular parties because that's where his votes are going to come from. This. is what i think about what's going to happen tomorrow we will wait and watch and we will talk once again tomorrow and see what happens whether arvind kejriwal goes behind bars or 
whether there will be one more round of interrogation and Arvind Kejriwal will be left to do his job. Till I see you next time, that is tomorrow at 10 p.m. Namaskar.